it's Angela Carmela here. Last month, I had a big bad book haul at the Big Bad Wolf book sale here in Cebu. It was held in the IEC Convention Center and boy oh boy were the finds amazing. Right here are actually the books that I bought and I'm excited to show them to you. So on my Facebook page, I actually did a quick video of the book haul and I thought I want to do it again because obviously I wanted to make it a little bit better and really put more detail into what I bought and why I chose them. And so again, these are the books and I guess let's start. So right here, I have my mythology code writing kit. Um, okay, so I love Greek mythology and I love codes and basically this is just a big kit that's full of stickers and things that you could use for stationery. So this is it. This is what's inside. So in here you can learn secret codes about constellations. There's the oak leaf code. Let me just zoom it up there. Yeah. It might be reversed in this video, but so sorry. But it's a really, really good kit. And anything representing Greek mythology is life. So this is the code writing kit. Up next, we have Wizarding World Movie Magic. So for all of us Potterheads, this is our book because it gives lots of details on how the movie was made from costumes, set design, even acting techniques used by the actors themselves. This book not only contains a lot of information, but it's also very interactive. There's um, posters for you right there, and there's even this. This is really cool. Death Eater Masks. Come, Dark Lord. Come, rise again. I'm just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> Next, we have Alistair Grimm's Auditorium. So, when I was browsing around the shelves, I was actually looking for something with a lot of mystery and intrigue, something that'll take me to a strange place. And then I saw the word auditorium and I thought, what's an auditorium? Well, the only way to find out is if I read it. So I chose this book and now it's mine. One thing that actually attracted me to this book was the cover. Not only is the dark color nice, but if you look closely, that's actually an organ so that adds more mystery to it like why does this place have an organ and i'm a big music lover and i love beautiful instruments i don't play the organ but i play a bit of piano so it just makes me smile knowing that there's going to be music involved in this book so i actually haven't opened this yet see it's the plastic still on but i am excited to read it so this will be my third read Another book that baited me completely with its cover is this, The Immortality Engine. So look at that cover. It's gorgeous and there's definitely a hint of steampunk that's going to be happening just based on the cover alone. So we've got steampunk. Check. This is a mystery. So yes, there's going to be intriguing mysteries and murders. Check. Crime solving a la Sherlock Holmes check so i think this is going to be a winner so i don't just look at the covers alone okay i'm not just all about them looks <laughs> but i think a beautiful cover and an intriguing plot is definitely a winner for any bookworm and last but not least the never ending story okay so this is a classic fantasy book about a young boy who gets sucked into this world called Fantastica, but it's dying and he has to give its ruler, the childlike empress, a new name for the land to heal. And including her, she has to heal and so that the land can heal. I actually started reading this already and I'm almost done. I am blown away by the plot and I'm just amazed with the very spirit of the book. This book definitely has its place amongst the classics of high epic fantasy fiction and you will just 
feel like a child all over again. Um, Bastian is an amazing protagonist and reading this book definitely uh, is like a throwback to childhood and it gives you a glimpse of the wonder and imagination that we once had and you will definitely enjoy this book so I highly recommend this. I will also be doing an official book review on my blog spotlight so I will leave the links down below. And that's my Big Bad Book Haul from the Big Bad Wolf book sale. I wish that it would come back to Cebu. It's actually a traveling book sale, so it's not in Cebu anymore, and I'm really sad I miss it. I also miss the prices because these books were so affordable. It was about 180 for these big ones and much less for the small ones, I can't remember the price. But in high-end bookstores, that's about 800 bucks for a big, thick, uh, hardbound book. And so that, that was just a much lower price to pay for these books. And I'm really, really happy that I got to attend the book sale. I just want to say a huge thank you to the Big Bad Wolf book sale. Thank you so much for coming to Cebu and thank you for giving us these wonderful books to choose from. So that's the end of my book haul everyone. I am so glad that I got to show you these books right here. Please tell me what you think in the comments down below. And if you recently went on a book spree, please show me your book haul. I would love to see that. Thank you so much for watching Bookworms. See you next time.